Hi, I'm Josh with joshlovesit.com. Today in my kitchen we're going to be making the world's best cinnamon rolls. Okay, so make sure that you use a dough hook on your KitchenAid mixer, okay? And first you're going to pour in uh, one cup of milk. Set it aside. I'm going to crack in one egg. And it's a good idea to mix this a little bit. Okay, now you're going to put four tablespoons of but softened butter in there, which is half a stick of butter. Uh, we prefer unsalted butter. Okay, and give that a good mix as well. Okay, now you're going to shut it off, and we're going to put in four tablespoons of water. I've got it pre-measured. And you can go ahead and throw in two and a half teaspoons of yeast. Okay, and then you're going to go and again beat that. Every once in a while you're going to scrape down the sides with a spatula. Okay, now we're going to want to add half a package of this, uh, any, any brand of putting in a pie filling vanilla, vanilla flavor. So you're just going to kind of measure it out and pour about half of that in there. Okay, and then we're going to again incorporate that on medium to medium height. All the while coming in there and scraping down the sides. And you're going to want to add four cups of flour. Probably a little bit at a time. Again, scrape the sides down a little bit in between. Come back on and add more flour. Until you get all four cups. And blend it in there really nicely. Okay, so continue mixing that. And in the meantime, oh, you want to lock down your mixer. In the meantime, put in a tablespoon of sugar in there, kind of mix it around. Make sure it's all out. <laughs> and finally, one half teaspoon of salt. You can see it's starting to clump up. You don't want to turn it off every once in a while. And go in there and scrape some of the bits off the bottom. Now, Probably a perfect dough. So we're going to shut it off and we are going to take the dough hook out. You can see how nice and clean that is. You can put that in there. You can take the dough hook off and set it aside. And you can see now how this dough is nice and, and round and you can just if you want to, you can make it into a little ball. But I usually, I usually leave the dough in this, and I just cover it with a black towel. So let me do that now. All right, I didn't have a black towel. The reason I like black towels usually is because when you set them in the sun, it uh, it absorbs more heat. So we're gonna to uh, take it out. Uh, if I can get this off there, okay. And then we're gonna set it in a warm place. Uh, usually nice sunlight by the window works well and you're gonna let it rise for two to three hours until it doubles in size and then we'll come back okay so I'm gonna put a stick of butter into 
a small to medium saucepan. You can put it over medium heat, but what you're wanting to do is melt this. Okay, the butter's just about melted, and I'm going to put a little mixture in there. I, I put two teaspoons of cinnamon with a cup of brown sugar, and I'm just going to dump it in there and stir it up real quick. Get that nice and mixed up. You can see how it's looking in there. This is going to be a great filling for the cinnamon rolls. Ooh, yummy. All right, so you can see this is just starting to bubble. So what we're going to do is reduce the heat. Actually, I would turn off the heat at this point. We're going to let it sit. And then we're going to roll out the, the dough. And then we'll come and heat this back up a little bit if we need to, if it's thicken up too much and then we'll go and spread it on top. So you're going to take a little bit of flour and spread it around here on this cutting board or you can just do it on the countertop if you'd like. Alright, so I'm going to show you now here this dough has turned out perfectly. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, and it smells so good here in the room from that uh, filling that we made. So I'm just going to pull this dough out. That didn't work so well. So I'm going to pull this out all right, just pop it there. Now just roll out your dough into an 11 inch by 17 inch rectangle. Okay, my friends, we've got our buttery, brown sugary, cinnamony mix here. And I'm gonna set it here on a nice hot pad. All right, I promised you a perfect rectangle, but you know, I think I failed geometry and algebra in high school, so I, I don't know how to get a perfect one, but this is pretty close. You can see it's, it's about half inch to an inch away from these little divots, so it's about my 11 by 17 size. So now what I'm going to do is, oh, this smells so good. So I'm going to just smother this on here. Okay, now we're ready to roll this puppy up. Now before I roll the cinnamon roll, rolls up, I want to grease the pan. You can use Gnostic spray, I guess, if, if you like that sort of thing, but, you know, I am very fond of butter. Okay, we've got this greased up, now let's start cutting it up. Okay, this is the fun part. Alright, so we're going to take this, I like to start at the back. And we're going to roll it up fairly tight on top of itself here. Oh, and you can see how that's not sticking at all because of the flour that we laid down before. All right, and just position that on top of its its uh, seam so that the weight of it will kind of close that seam off. All right, so now you're going to want to divide it into 12 pieces, okay? And what I like to do to get it extra even, start in the middle. Yeah, look at that. Now look nice. That's going to puff up really nice in the oven. Okay, and then now that you've divided it once, divide it twice. Divide it one more time there, and one time there. So now each of these quarters is going to be cut into three. So you can just tap on top of the dough if you want to. To give yourself a good little marker. Okay. After you get one of those, you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it in there. So you're gonna go three that way and four that way. So we'll do this. We'll, I'll finish this and then we'll uh, do all of these until we've got a, a full pan. All right, you see how I got these all spaced out a little bit. They need a little bit of room to grow because they're gonna puff up in the oven. Ooh, yeah. So, I'm going to throw a towel over them and let them rise for approximately a half hour. And I'll show you what they look, what they're supposed to look like once they're ready to go in the oven. 
All right, now for the frosting. We'll do this while we're waiting for the the uh, cinnamon rolls to rise. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to stick two thirds of a stick of butter and two tablespoons of cream cheese into your mixer. This should be softened. I've been letting all my butter soften ahead of time. And then you want about, not quite a full 16 ounces of powdered sugar. Uh, you can add more as the consistency goes. Frosting isn't a science, it's more of a taste as you go. So you want to walk down that, walk this down, start mixing, and just start pouring in. Okay. Ooh, this is messy. Alright. I don't like to add it all yet. I like to pour in a little bit of milk. I'm gonna start off with a quarter cup. And you just kind of add milk and powdered sugar until you get the right consistency that you're looking for. Whether you want really thick frosting or, or more thin frosting. You're definitely going to want to scrape down the sides when you're making homemade frosting. Because the powdered sugar always gets stuck at the bottom. You can see that down there. You want to spread it out nice and even. Now this is quite thick, so we are going to add a little more fluid to it. The first fluid we're going to add to it is a little bit of vanilla. I just put maybe a capful. Depends on how much you like that flavor. That might be too much, but oh well. Vanilla never hurts. <laughs> and we're going to stir that a little bit again. While that's stirring, I'm going to get a little bit more milk. This time I'm probably only going to add maybe an eighth of a cup. Just half of this here. So, throw that in. I'm going to see what consistency that gives us. You can speed it up a little bit. Alright, so you can see it's thick but it's not so thick that it won't drop off the spoon after a little while. So just leave the, the uh, beater on here and uh, set it aside and then you can whip it up again right before you're about to apply it on to the uh, cinnamon rolls. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to stick the cinnamon rolls in for approximately 20 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, you're going to want to pull out the cinnamon rolls and check them. Usually they're going to look done, but quite often I've found that the cinnamon rolls are a little doughy inside. So we're going to check them with a fork to see if there's any doughiness inside of them. Yep, this time there's some dough in it, so we're going to stick the pan back in for another two minutes and we're going to check it again and if it's still doughy stick it in for another two minutes after that you just want to be careful not to stick it in for too long because it can quickly get overdone I've just given the frosting another quick mix since it was sitting we're going to spread it out all over the cinnamon rolls really evenly make sure you get all the little cracks and crevices so that every part of this is filled with amazingness okay now I really like to shave real chocolate shavings on top. So you can try what you want. All right, now here is the real test to see how good this really is. Would you like some, Joseph? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, is that good? Ooh. Want more. He wants more, that's a good sign. Mmm. Mmm. Perfectly baked. No more. No more. Okay, you want to take a break for a minute? Oh, no. It was so good with the chocolate shavings on top. I guarantee you, this is the best cinnamon roll you've ever tasted. And if it's not, tell me, because I want to find out. Mmm. No more. <laughs>